welcome back to Final Fantasy. When we last left off, we were at the base of Shinra Tower. About to work our way up the long hard shaft. Until we reach the tip. And here we go. We're going in the front because it's more exciting than going in the sidelines. <laughs> if you don't have an appointment. <laughs> this is emergency. Anyway, yeah, we gotta go through here and do this. And get to the top. And stop Shinrar. And it's not gonna be a problem for us because we're Avalanche and we're also the main characters, so we can't die, or else the game can't the game game kinda stops, so you know. It's not much of a point. In dying. So let's not die. Let's instead live. Oh man. I feel pretty damn awesome, man. Day off. Just had breakfast. Final Fantasy. Good times, man. I had good breakfast too, man. I made me some Welsh eggs. And they were delicious. Oh, just die, you little bastard. I don't want to use my lemon breaker on some low-level scrub like yourself. Learn to play, noob. Uninstall. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. But anyway, yeah, I am full on some Welsh eggs. And the recipe called for some sort of oven-safe dish. But I didn't have an oven-safe dish, but I did have a muffin pan tray thing. So I used that, and then, um... It was good. But they, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys are just like, ah, 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 keep away. They're playing hide and seek. I'm like, I found you. They're like, ah, ah, wee. <laughs> it's the little things in this game that are fun. Okay, over here, I believe, is another Turtle Paradise thing. I believe. There we go, number two. If you get all six, you get a uh, shit ton of items from Wuta, I believe. I forget what they are. Pretty generic stuff like elixirs and things. Alright, we aren't gonna take that elevator because we're gonna go upstairs and take that elevator. Because I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Now there's a uh, shop up here. Let's say I think it was a shop. Maybe we go up those stairs and have a Fuck it, let's just keep running up the stairs. <laughs> Going upstairs! Alright, maybe we should use our. Oh, yeah, we're definitely. We're definitely gonna limit the fuck out of this guy. He's fucked his whole day up. It's like, man, I just got in, guys. You fucking. Oh, God. Just got into this armor, and now you're killing me. He's not having a good day, because he's dead. Take some tranquil lasers. Got and then we got this little shop. Okay. I think I used to skip this part as a kid. But, uh, oh yeah, you can talk to... Can you talk to these guys? Uh, hello? Terrorists? Oh. Um, yeah, there you go. Honey, would you buy that car? Yeah, you know, Shinra Tower is, like, under siege right now, you two. Okay. This is the video. It's pretty badass. Shinra Motor Mobiles. I guess it's just to throw, show off the 3D engine because there's really no point to this other than these cars, but like you don't use these. Maybe there was one point in time when they were going to uh, incorporate a lot more motor vehicles throughout the game, and these were like the failed designs. We do have a lot. I mean, after this, we're going to get a bike, and then we're going to get a dune buggy later, broken down plane, and then an airship, which is cool. It's one of the staples of a uh, Final Fantasy, not just airships, but it's having a shit ton of different mobile devices to get you around the map. So I remember, was it, um, it had to have been four that I'm thinking of, Final Fantasy four where they had stuff like this. I think there was like a hover card and that kind of shit. I gotta go back and play Final Fantasy IV. That is another one I haven't ever played, but to be fair, when I first played it, it was like, I just wasn't too into it, man. Something about it just made me... Bitch, I'm a terrorist. 
Please take all purchases to the register. The... Oh, this is... Is that, like, jewelry in the back? What the heck? <laughs> you just talked to us. Oh, that's what makes them run. I was wondering why they were there. I don't remember last time them being there. I think she sells you stuff. We're like, we're not criminals. Well, are you gonna buy something? I guess. Honestly, I don't... Uh, and, oh, God, does the monster boss... I forget if that guy actually does anything. Oh, level about to five. Oh, shit, I think he does blind you, though. If memory serves me correctly. And I am full as fuck. Like, I had, I had a lot of food. You'd have think three of those things wouldn't be much, but, I mean, it's just, like, cheese and an egg. But I guess you can't, uh... Oh, I know what it is. You probably have to come back for these later. Oops. Open up all those things without asking it anyway. I don't know. I either screwed that up, or I just gotta come back later. Let's go up these stairs and see what the hell's going on. Because I think the moment you get into the elevator, it just... The moment you get into the elevator, it just kind of, uh... Does the... Well, does the elevator part... Yeah, I don't feel like wasting much effort on these little guys. The little soldier guards, man, they're just the little wieners. Although they are taking, they took three hits, man. It's like 150 health. That's no fun. That's no point. Oh. How about you die? That's what I'm talking about. The idea with this is this is kind of the last part of uh, the Midgar part of the game. After this, we get to go out to the big ass world and get to experience all the finer things. Oh, is this another video? Can you? Can you? No, I guess not. Well, fuck it. Let's go into the elevator. But those are all the cars, all the pretty cars. Not really much of a point, just thought you should see them, I guess. I don't know. I thought there was something else up here. But I'm clearly thinking of something else. Alright, this is a big gauntlet thingy. That we get to experience. Which is really not that much of a gauntlet, it's just every now and then a few monsters show up and it's not a big deal. It's kind of the uh, fun thing about this part, is there's really not, not a whole lot of grinding. Uh, a lot of people talk about, I remember they were saying Final Fantasy XIII is Final Fantasy Hallway. It's like, oh, well, Midgar was kind of like that. You branch off a little bit, but you just start doing this. Go from one point to the other before you can actually get into the big world. Oh, yeah, and then you have to go over here, stop it. Start letting you off and fighting. And once you get to, I believe it's floor 59, you will start doing the, uh, what I like to call the official tower stuff, which is you go from floor to floor, starting trouble, trying to solve a few puzzles. This is actually a really fun section. Cure. We don't need no cure. Ah, I got that cover. these guys called, I wondered. Oh yeah, this is, like, that's them out of their suit. They're like, oh, thank god, it was so heavy. Uh, let's see. Mighty Grunts. Okay. Mighty Grunt B. Good to know. As much as I play this game, I don't remember all the names. I remember the popular ones, but never, uh, Never these assholes. Alright, that's the first part of the battle, which was pretty easy, as you can see. As you can see, Z. Over here. Uh, 
here making up words. <laughs> All right, let's move on. The idea, if you haven't guessed, is just keep pushing this until you hit floor 59, which is the the good part. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? Let's just leave this on. <laughs> just figure out. Moth Slasher? Seems like a waste of a budget just to make an entire robot dedicated to slashing moths. Doesn't even seem very practical. Oh yeah, he's a robot. Fucking Bolt does super damage. And he's, he's very efficient. Ugh. Inefficient to do. Not a very good, uh, not a very good investment there, Shinra Tower. To 20, 33, 44. We're getting close. I think, it, I think it's just four. They get crazier and crazier. Look at this guy. <laughs> Fighting with a hammer blaster. Now we should just have them on attack. Just bolt the fuck out of them. <laughs> Again, inefficient robots. Give them a mountain gun or something. Give a blister. Got a new invention, it's called a hammer blister. What does he do? Oh, he hits you in the head with a hammer. Need an entire robot to do that? Well, you know. Oh, maybe it's floor 57. Or floor 58. <gasps> or floor 59. <laughs> yeah. Is this another hammer blaster? Oh, well, fuck off, man. How many hammers are you going to blast? He said, You killed my brother. Time to blast some hammers of vengeance. The hammer blaster brothers. Damn. Went down like a little bitch. Okay, and we'll stop it again. There we go, floor 59. <laughs> They're like, get ready for a fight, and it's like, ah, it's nothing. We're good. Actually, I think there is a fight over here. You gotta take the secondary elevators. Destroy the intruders. It's like, really guys? We just killed not one, but two of the Hammer Blaster Brothers, and you're coming at us with this weak shit? Oh god. <laughs> Auto cure. Oh well. It's alright. You can waste a little bit of cure magic. Honestly, I should just have Barrett attacking. <laughs> it's like, take that! It's like, oh shit. They're like, God damn it, Barrett. They're doing like none damage. Yeah. Let's do the back back. Okay. Show what you made of, Barrett. Boom. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> it was a good effort. Lost in my own little world right now. Still thinking about the good meal that I just I ate. Fuck it, we'll just hit with a shit ton of badge. You can tell the little fudge himself. Uh, actually, that should do it, shouldn't it? Speaking of that, should do it. This is probably uh, where we're gonna sign off on this episode. So until next time, guys, I will talk at you later. Take it easy, bye.